All right. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here. One only how all my adventures doing. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. Uh, I finally got some downtime so I can play some more uh, Grand Fantasia Violet, the private server. Uh, I forgot where I left off. All right, we're doing these quests. I could turn this in. We just got our bird form. I think we did last dungeon. Since it's time five, I think we should just dungeon rush. I've been thinking about that. I was like, hold on, wait a minute. Is this quest here, or is that you? Oh, yeah, it's you. Okay. But, yeah, I've been thinking about it with the downtime I had. It's like, it's probably better just to dungeon rush. Whenever we get, like, a new location done. Just to see how much XP we can get, like, both outside and inside. So, our next place we need to go. I guess we'll go do these first. Because Sprite Forest is basically next. But I also want to grab the... Part of me also wants to grab all the quests before I actually do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head here. How many TP stones do I have? I, like, I don't think I have any more, right? Yeah, I don't have any more. Which is fine. Um, trying to get my brain back together. I just got off work early, so... Kind of trying to use my time wisely now. Got to figure out what I need to do. So we need to return this sprite back to nature, or back to an altar. Its reputation is full, so we don't have to worry about that. It's also times five reputation, so I'm curious how much we actually get out of that. Take off that. Return sprite back to nature, get rid of you. We got 400. <laughs> we got 400 points out of that. That is... That is honestly not what I was expecting. But I guess that's fine. Oh, whoops. So, we can actually turn off that for a while. What I need to do now is go to a place that gives me the dungeon books over here. I say give me give me a little bit of time for my brain to start back up. <laughs> Been working all day and kind of got to wind down a little bit. So at level 41 is where this becomes obsolete. Hmm. I don't think the next area is going to give me like too much, but we're going to see. It's kind of my interest here. It's like, I want to see how much the world, outside the world, gives me. Or if I just dungeon rush at this point. It's 
Sell all those. Uh, this has another item in it. And that is all that's inside of that package. Okay, so that package doesn't go further than 30 again. It doesn't give you like a new packet, that, custom packet that they made for uh, level milestones. Noted. So I guess we start heading to Spike Forest now. We start doing all the quests here. That is a gimmick quest. Oh yeah, I need to check uh, the, the official server, see if they uh, released anything new. Okay, what was the last, last thing you guys released? Let's see. It was the 9th, so that was yesterday. Okay, they're still just releasing normal costumes. Huh. We are about to update the archive related uh, feature of enhancement improving gameplay. So I guess the archive is just getting updated soon. I don't know if it's going to give different buffs or anything like that, but I guess we shall see. That is the only thing they've updated inside of the official server. Last one, other one was the second, and there was nothing else going on there but more costumes. Okay, that's meh. So nothing else new in the private server after the other other than just them updating archive. I normally try and keep up with the fish server just to see if anything amazing and cool happens. So far, everything's just been pretty meh. We know we have his book too. These are a lot more worth it now that they just cost like one transport stone. How much is 50? Okay, so 50 would be a big chunk of my points. Is there anything else in here that's worth actually getting? XP's is pretty meh. Doors are pretty meh. That would be pretty decent. Well, the guarantees would actually be pretty good to get to. Uh, nothing towards like actual enhancement stuff. That people care about. Costumes are and mounts are decent. Nothing, nothing too amazing. Wait, who, who's okay? I was about to say who's supposed to be here. So now I gotta go find this dude. There he is. Oh, okay. I just finished two quests. That's fine. 
I'm not truly worried about uh, losing like a whole bunch of transport stones or all the transport stones just because of the movement speed. I say just a little bit of extra traveling. But it will be difficult to find like, you know, certain NPCs. You know, if his NPC is like very out of reach, that would be the only issue. Oh crap, that's why my VTuber isn't up. It's because uh, Steam isn't up. I was I just looked over here, it's like, is my VTuber up? Uh, Sam is going through some kind of triple A title thing. Triple A titles are starting to suck now. I'm sorry, dude. Like, most triple A titles are actually starting to suck. Like, most of them aren't really, like, all that interesting to go for. Because there's so much of a letdown. Like,. You have so many people that work on you and still release like these shitty ass games. Or half finished games. Wait, did they cut down? Um, I think they cut down how long it takes for the sprite to get back to you with the letter. Excuse me, had a hiccup. I guess I really don't have to worry about out leveling because I don't I won't get any XP from this area. I don't think I'll get any from the dungeon either, actually. Guess we'll see. I'm hoping to see the quality of life of, like, of there being a way like I, I've talked about this before like I want to do more sprite gear stuff well play with sprites a lot more but hopefully they do a way to where you can easily level up the skills a lot faster because just putting one gear at a time in is like very very annoying this is for the private servers and for the official server. Like, that that's probably the most tedious thing when it comes to Sprite now. Sprite movement speed, perfect for the private servers. But the only other thing that I can say is, like, very tedious is, um, trying to level up their skills with pieces of gear. Unless you guys want to make like some kind of some kind of NPC that changes gear into like change like a stack of gear into like a XP orb that you can give to sprites for easier boost. That's a thought. I forgot I had to go attack somebody's uh flower monsters for those. Uh 
I like that they give us passive region now. Off of channel. Channel is like, actually like very nice. Okay, so where are they over there? Over here? Yeah, they are. Wait, I was about to say, did I change my title? My, uh. There we go. I guess I should change it to, uh, to magic base for bird form since that's all I have. I mean, I have just one. I bet you if I was to go to auction right now, they would all probably be like very overpriced inside of the sprite area. You guys draw sprites? Yeah, you do. Not a sprite that I need though. So I'm gonna have to go to an NPC if people aren't doing right inside of the auction house. Now I have to figure out how much I got to save from there. Because it's been a while since I've looked at it. I've really jumped on Violet all that much, to be honest. So I've missed a lot of, like, login rewards. Been getting Monster Girl Utopia going. So, stuff like that's kind of settling down now. So I can actually do a few more things. Okay, there we go. Not only that, this place is giving me like quite a bit of gold too. That's one reason why I don't want to dungeon rush either, because of the amount of gold I'm actually getting. So where's the fruit? Ah, well, there's a, there's the sprite I don't need. Ah, there it is. There's one. Okay, there's the last one. All right, back to these. I don't know if I feel fast right now as bird form. Maybe I'm overthinking it a little bit. Hold up. Oh yeah, just 200. It's not too bad.
Just looking around just to see if I see anything new. I feel like... Another thing I was looking around because I kind of feel like it's a lot more vibrant in this area too. Like they put on the shader. What is that? Okay. Uh, there's another thing I wanted to look at too. What are these looking like? Ah, damn. Level 66. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, so far, not a huge amount of XP, so I don't think I'm going to be out leveling it. I think I should be good. I guess we could do this one since I'm actually very close to this one. This is our quest transition. No, that's not a quest transition. That is something else. Oh yeah, this wants me to go to Red Ridge. Technically, I'm pretty sure this is a quest. Well, area transition quest. This should take me to the plains, yeah. I do want to do the whole what does a hundred bucks get you inside of a uh, violet but I gotta wait until like ah well shit okay wait I was about to say excuse me I guess I was clicking the wrong thing but I gotta wait until like the next week just because I uh, I'm already at my budget at the moment. Well, I will be at my budget this week soon. Because everybody finishes their work on the game this week, so I have to get the next things rolling. I have no TPs. Okay, so what's this one? Where you want me to go? That wants me to go to Red Ridge. This wants me to go to what do you call it? Ancient Forest. Wait, isn't Ancient Forest our next quest? Not a. Oh no, Ancient Forest is uh, Ilya. Half.
This is our next area quest. So now, I need to go get the drops from these guys over here. The blue butterfly sp sprites. I was trying to look at something. Jesus. Yeah, I usually keep going for like two hours. So I'm going to keep the whole two hour train going. Wait a minute. Okay, I had to look at something. But uh, yeah, no. So far... Everything is pretty, pretty decent. Right now, it's just the same old gravitation grind. Oh, damn. I just realized that's the butterfly again. Well, the rare boss. Not rare boss, rare area enemy. It seems like the rare enemies do. Well, oh, never mind. That's my first time killing that. I was about to say, it seems like they do respawn faster. Oh, I was thinking of the purple one I killed. It seems like quite a few enemies respawn faster. It does make it difficult to like know what everything is considering that a lot of it's you know different language trying to wonder what that new per what that person just got and is just like yeah, and you know what no you you'll never know until you get it yourself Wait, that's not the quest. Uh, which quest was it? Oh, there it is. Okay, so this one has everything. Wait, that has a... That other one has a slot in it. I guess that's what we're calling Nucleus. Like they all have a different name now, I'm guessing. Keep your filthy hands off me. Wait, where's the hungry one? Oh, there it is. Okay, we're done with that one. I'll say, um, I guess the question is, 
Should I keep questing in the area until I actually get to the quest number? Well, no, never mind. Because once I, by the time I get here, I would be within, you know, my appropriate level area. Either that, or I could finish this, then go to. I finished the last area of that level. Hmm. I don't know how to go about it. Should I finish the area before the dungeon, or should I finish the dungeon before this area for now on? Really depends on how depends on how gear crafting is gonna go. Oh, I just got a message that sounds like it's mana. Hold up. I get I believe they're showing me progress. Ah. Hold on. Doing two things at once. Um so Jessica Kazlau. I remember where most of the NPCs are, just because I've done the quest so much. Oh god. Oh, okay. So they need another week for the coloring. That's fine. Okay, thank God, because that just helps me save a little bit more money up for the budget. So we're good on that. That actually looks very great. I actually like the like what they did for her. Oh yeah, I gotta go back and fight him now. But I actually like what they did for uh Java. Okay, so can I see people's reincarnations? It's clearly have to oh yeah, there it is. Reincarnation one one. I haven't seen any twos. So I think it's all still reincarnation ones. And to the official server themselves decide what they want to do for two. Yeah, everything is one. Because we still have to figure out, like, what does, like, the official server have prepared for the next reincarnation? Is it new skills or anything like that? Like, what's what's going on with that? Because the private servers are basically, you know, kind of stuck with their own path if they want to do that. Versus, like, you know, the official server who can actually <laughs> influence... The private service like very easily just by changing something and adding stuff. Yeah, if you could fucking not mate. Best thing is you 
I kind of started to learn this, that you can get in the extra hit while moving. So you can only take like one, one actual real hit from an enemy, but also still keep kiting. But that only works if you're like actually fast. If you're not really all that fast, it sucks. I don't think I have any more skills I can get yet. I think I got everything right. Yeah, I have everything. So I'm good. Uh, Classmaster. That's who I want to go to. Ah, I just realized. Something I've been uh, neglecting here. Okay, so they are stopping at 20. It's kind of annoying. Jewelry Club? Wait a minute. Is this their own thing they made? No, they, yeah, they stop at 50. I'm curious though. So 50 would be my next sprite purchase. Hold on. Let me go to auction first. Because auction could be cheaper. It's not making any reckless decisions. But with how many how much these prices are going, I wouldn't doubt. Okay. So, nothing around my level. They... Was this supposed to be 71? So they took away one. One level requirement for it. Okay, a lot of purple weapons are being made. Has trip as triple attack on it. Damage reflection, nobody cares about that hammer. Well at least not Jurus don't. Unless you're doing like a full reflection damage build, I talked about that. And that's more of a PvP thing. Enemies really don't take much damage from that. Yeah, these prices are out of their fucking mind. Even with the gold increase, these prices are out of their mind. Yeah, and here people were selling heroics left and right. Mm 
done damage. Well, damage done. Is that final damage? They're throwing me off quite a bit. Okay, they still have the purple exclusives. That's just another little extra thing I wanted to actually take a look at. God damn. I mean, it's... Hear me out. It is less than the official server. A little bit less than the official server. Because the official server is fucking nuts. When it comes to clay piece uh, prices, that archer's mark. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm looking at. I was looking for critical mark for that 50% uh, crit chance. They still have the bone dragon mount. Okay. Okay, I wanted to take a little bit of detour just to see what was going on. Now we're going to go to... Oh, wait. Uh, I guess we should grab that sprite. <laughs> totally forgot about that. Should be a class master over here. I am curious about this. Old jewelry and cape crafting. I feel like that has to be a machinist. Definitely taking the staff. Or the hammers. Ah, oh, there's the hammer. Like always, the hammer still has the lowest. The nurse priest. Wait, what? Oh, crap. It was this one. Was not trying to get that one by. God damn it. Forgot I had that one. So, cape crafting. Okay. So, it's universal. Okay. Good, good, good. This is their own thing, then. That's actually very interesting. Like how they have Fiverr. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Fiverr is a whole different thing from what we're currently using, which is extremely interesting that they actually made their own sprite. That must have took a lot of time to do. Like a certain amount of time to do. They even do anything? Hmm, I don't know. But anyway. I maybe need a quest for it. Uh, I was going to a sprite, this one. Because I need... A few of these. Kind of pissed that I put on that archer one. 
I, I do want to test it. Let's go see how much we suffer by releasing a sprite. It's only annoying because you can't change like what slot a sprite is in. Even though I would love to be able to move it. I was about to say you can't replace at least that one. There it is. Okay, so yeah, you still lose a lot of points. So I should technically be back at zero, right? Okay, now. Okay, now I'm good. I say I just lost 50 more points than what I did with that uh, other sprite. So it's not too chaotic. Gonna start grabbing that. Hopefully this dungeon will give me a better hammer. Yeah, that I'll have to just, you know, craft it. Moonlight hammer to stun one, right? Yeah. What was this one? This one was reduced damage taken. God, I'm wish I wish I could just move some of these. Just because that's going to bother the shit out of me. Having to keep coming back between these. Uh, what did the hammer need? Well, I guess I could try and... Oh, wait. I don't need that much. I guess I'll go through my normal routine area. Like, clearing this out first. Oh, shit. I was supposed to turn... Okay. Yep. Totally forgot about this. I have to go through every last little area and do this. Wait, was it not dash that was here? I could have sworn it was somebody here that, uh... Had a quest. Apparently not. Okay. Maybe I'm thinking of a different quest. Oh yeah, I'm definitely thinking of a different quest. I don't know. That was for um, Perry Cave. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, this is actually going to piss me off of how much I got to go back and forth for this. Okay. Southern first. Decline.
Then the next one is... Black Swamp for Oz. That this will be fixed at level 50. Ha ha. Ha ha. Fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, I need uh, monster stuff too for this. My brain is fucking cooked right now doing all this back and forth. Wait a minute, did he have a quest? Damn it, I gotta go back and check now because I, I don't remember if he actually had a quest. Ah, he did. Yeah. The robot. Ah, this one is Dash, who's like all the way halfway across the map. I can accept this since I'll be coming back to this area. I get some of those for the next ring. Got to get that for the cape. Yo, Dash, what's up, buddy? Give me, give me this. Oh God, I forgot. I, there's a world boss, and it's oh shit. <laughs> It's, it's it's a good thing that I didn't just blindly run into it. Because I was not paying attention to it at all. Oh shit, hold up. We, got, we almost forgot the other quest. The unlimited one. I have enough cape, enough for the cape, right? Mm, no, I would have enough for the. No, I don't have enough for the ring either. Where are you at right now? Okay, we're still gonna keep level at the fiver because it's almost at thirty.
That's just double attack? How? Ooh, a drum. What is that? Oh, it's for staff. I already, damn it, I already have that. No, I do not, actually. Oh, I thought I had picked up a staff one. Did I not? Am I blind? Okay, yeah, I am blind. Okay. Situation fixed on how that little small thing was pissing me off. <laughs> okay, we're, we're fine. It's all good, man. It's all good. Reduce cast time. Let's do that. So, we need this one. So, Prodigy. Damn it. Okay, there we go. I'm very much less pe peeved off about that small situation. Okay, so I have enough to make another ring. How much XP am I getting? Quite a bit, actually. God damn, a lot. Won't take me long to level up in here, that's for sure. Appreciate you making a staff, okay. More of those. Question is, will the capes even do anything? Would they have like any special effects or anything? That's will these have any special effects or anything? Or are they just giving me defense? If I have I've yet to well, we aren't gonna see any of them with stats just yet, that's for sure. So I'm curious, did they change any of the skills out for this? No, they did not, that's still the same. So I'm kinda curious about skills. And what's going to be changing there? Guess my hunch was kind of right. I probably should have finished um, planes before I came here. Just because I wasn't sure if my level was going to just completely out level the dungeon and everything in here becomes green. Guess I'm underestimating the power of like <laughs> being out leveled in the area.
Okay, I just need another one. I can make the staff. Or attempt to make the staff. So, I don't think this is valid. Because inside of the official server, this doesn't change at all. I don't, I'm not sure if they coded, like, the actual number in. It's something I highly doubt. I say, because even the private servers, they, they just don't code in half of the shit they have planned. I have a lot of clutter. I gotta sell. Sooner or later, I will. Sooner or later. So what's going on here? Guess we can make the pants. The cape is the thing that's throwing me off the most. Like, how many, how many levels do you will you need inside of this new one? It's like every ten levels or every five levels. Makes me curious on that. Oh, no, I think this is the unknown one that they just sent. Okay, there we go with those. Catching gear up is like some of the most mind numbing mind numbing things inside of Grand Fantasia. But if you can get everything like full on prepared and you start understanding like what things you want, what things you need, how to build them, what sprites you need to build it, you're pretty much golden from that point. Oh, damn, magic damage. Okay, hell yeah. Int, magic tag. Because late in the game, if you're going to go to the magic side of bird form, you'll easily reach 100% magic crit. Just because of your kid. And if you have a... Um, Tyro's uh, magic gear. You also reach a hundred percent. Well, that would mainly help you get a hundred percent crit. Let's see. Was it this one? Yeah, it was this one. Okay, so let's see. So nothing, okay. This one goes to magic. Okay, this is interesting. So if you want, like, more physical damage by two points, <laughs> you go there. Huh.
Physical's always been the more superior stat than magic damage because through early and mid game, all you will see is mostly physical. Unless they started changing them. I wouldn't be surprised if they start changing a few enemies just to fit it. Nice to see myself to hit for 4,000 this early. Okay, it's not like a chance of it, it's just like full on reduction. So, Forbidden Temple is now open. Not Forbidden Temple, uh, Desert Temple. Deserted Temple. So there's a new form of fiber we can get. Um, I'm going to have a lot of material inside of my backpack. This is going to be quite annoying and absurd. <laughs> I mean, we already got everything up to 31 already. Everything is now 30, so I don't see myself getting much XP out of it soon. But I do want to go to a trainer now. That and sell most of this stuff. Most of it's just filling up my inventory. Make my gloves. I guess I want to stop each of them at 40. I think that's going to be the goal.
Well, I guess we can worry about it after I'm done with the dungeon first. Once I'm done with the dungeon, I'll try and, like, do some catching up. Because thank God I can save gold on, like, getting skills up. Oh, up you. Okay, so the main things I have now is I can upgrade this. This. I wonder if they fix the issue to where if you're transformed. Does it stay the same? Yes, they is still the same. To where if you're not on the tab, it doesn't refresh your skills. The well the new skills you buy. So I have to be in bird form to buy these without having to actually replace them myself. So I'm still curious about this. What's going on here? I mean, we have passive mana regen now, so it, I guess giving Druid's mana regen is pretty useless. Well, for the magic people, they have that, but no. I'm not sure about the um, more warrior type of classes. It still does make me curious if they changed, like, anything towards, like, classes. Other than, uh, Ranger now being able to use range attacks up, up front. So now I can put on my healing skills. My first party skill is done now, which is great. is done. Okay. Yeah, so I need one more bone. I think I'll I think I'll get the physical one. We are gonna keep collecting now. So we need to figure out what's going on with the jewelry. It's crazy. Like right now for jewelry is telling me I need to grab like the older material. But when I'm enhancing or training it, it tells me I need the newer material. Which throws me off quite a bit.
Oh no, this is still the same. Wait. Okay, now it's it's still the same, it's just worded differently. That's stupid. I'm I'm sorry, that's it's it's literally just worded differently. That phrasing is questionable. What level was the cape? That cape was level 23. I need to go this way. I need to change up a few skills too. Uh, hammer. There it is. Wait. No, okay. I think it is different. It's just... It's worded weirdly. And this doesn't change at all. Huh, I don't know because I'm running regening a lot more than I should. Oh, because never mind, it's because of the uh, because of dungeon grace. Oh, blessing. A lot of new things, and it's just overloading my brain. One thing I hope they're doing is if um, training does, if training doesn't give like too much, I would love for training to give like a lot more than what it usually gives, just because there's no way you can speed it up to where the sprites well come back a lot quicker. Because training never feels like it actually like pays off most of the time. Oh, that's something we need to try and see if we need keys. Come here. Thank you. Oh, nope. Because training is mostly used for when you're, like, actually stuck. Shadow ring. Does this do anything? No, it doesn't do anything. I guess it's in the next level it doesn't do anything. But right now it don't do anything. They're all the same, uh... Yeah, they're, they're pretty much all the same. Except for just different resources. I guess that doesn't really matter until, like, next step. Uh, we know where the Keykeeper is. We'll come back to him. We just need to see if we can enter the final area without it. 
See why they gave us bags at the start. <laughs> Just because of the extra sprite. I always go robot next after this. Uh, um, the guy's about to say, "Do I not, did I get a cape? Way better cape. I can save that." So no, they haven't changed any of the skills. It's just mainly that they've rewarded them. The only thing that's changed, like, Visually, from what we can see, is uh, talents. I was say, damn, dude, how long am I gonna be stunned? I say I don't have a staff, so I think I should stick with. Well, I don't have a hammer at the moment, so I think I should stick with bird form. Just for a while. start getting some quartz. Since everything has has those quartz, I guess I could just put everybody on it. I think you still have it too, right? Yeah. Huh? Where the hell did you come from? Cease this behavior of yours. Damn, that actually seems a lot longer than usual. That's an actual stun. Yeah, my brain's gonna be overloaded for a while. With all this new stuff I gotta I gotta figure out. I think the thing that is overwhelming me the most is the cape and rings. Just that simply being added is making my brain rethink everything now. Cause it's like a new extra little thing added on that my brain knows is not important. But at the same time, my soul is like, you know what, dude? Maybe we should uh, think about that a little bit harder. Maybe we shouldn't just fucking have at it. <laughs> it seems like the success rates are a lot better. If not 100%.
because I don't th I don't think I've uh, missed any loot so far. And I have to keep re-rolling for that loot. Now that I'm actually making myself aware of it, I'm going to try and pay attention. So I'm already at like 37 crit. Thanks to that talent. Which is interesting. Ow. Rude. So I need him to make one more. Ah, oh, you failure. You would fail that. I give you one task and you dishonor me. And already, that's, that is a lot of stats inside of that. So did they also enhance this as well to where you will always get like a point inside of one of them each level? Because I haven't been paying attention to that. That seems interesting also, if that's the case. Uh, I am at 42%. Let's... How much is Crux Skeleton? You literally provoked that whole fight, you little shit. You literally ran towards me. You wanted this beef. back there give you this make you do that if you could fucking not mate well shit no more stuns stop it's also funny how many people wanted reworks of like abilities and stuff like that <laughs> then <laughs> all of a sudden the reworks get here and most people are on private servers I'm just sitting here like why did you guys ask for the reworks to come like a lot faster if you guys were just going to go to the private server <laughs> oh if you guys were just going to ask for the reworks to get done faster if you guys were just going to go to the private servers I think I said that right my brain feels like it said something else, and I always had to kind of correct it. Got to make the other one.
I bet I have to scratch my eyes. Wait, do you not have enough uh, stamina for that? Hold on. Now craft my hammer. If you cannot mate, that would be great. Let's go to the Shadow Realm, please. Okay, that's another one down. What I need for that? I need the beast. And I know this card has that. If you could fucking not, mate. You're gonna stun me next, aren't you? You little shit, I fucking knew it. There. That's done now. There we go. I was about to say, wait a minute, I'm losing half of my damage with that. You farm more of these. Now you increase hammers. Okay, almost at thirty-eight. Now I can go get. Some other stuff. I think uh, Gorilla Form is 38. I believe. Yeah, Gorilla Form is 38. Almost there. So close. You guys think this damage is terrifying? Just wait until you actually play the, the official servers, Druid, and see the rework that this bird form fucking has. Fucking actual AoE monster. Like, literally one of the fastest fucking clears in the game. It's ranged, it's literally a line path through enemies. To where you can cleave and kite.
I knew you were going to stun me. I knew it. Okay, here we go. So, this is where the stats come into play. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Okay, so cape and seals play on each other. That's interesting. I was not thinking about that. Damn it. <laughs> because it's kind of like, damn, now you got to choose between magic and physical. Like, which one are you more used to at this point? Uh, let's let's get cape up to date now. What level were those uh, jewelries? Level 30? Oh no, level 29. You're gonna stop me, aren't you? You're lining up for it like you're about to. I said this at the move because I felt like if I stood there long enough, he was he was gonna think about it. He was like, you know what? Might as well. <laughs> The thing is that you're probably thinking, like, damn, dude, this is pretty strong of a start. You gotta remember that I'm out leveling these guys, and level does matter because level does give like quite a decent amount of stats. It's mostly the speed of leveling that is actually making this a lot easier. The talents are great, but it's mostly that I'm out leveling these enemies. But the talents are definitely adding on to that. The talent combos for a Druid. Which makes me scared to see what the form talents will be. Just because once we get this, there's going to be new combinations. And it's, and it's making me curious of what, what could they have added to make it strong. Or at least good. Or that fits the forms. Because I know Spirit Wolf better not be there with fucking magic stats. Or we're fighting. Hammer. Go back. Let me put on my evasion buff. Oh, wait. No, this one doesn't have evasion yet. <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, dude, I could put on an evasion buff right now. It's like, no. No, you can't. Stupid. You're not even that close to it. Dice to try. Oh, God, you stunning bastard. Uh, then you're putting misfortune on people? That's pretty cringe. Alright, alright. I just got a whole bunch of druid capes. Meh, they're decent. They're pretty decent, bro. Pretty decent. I have so much loot I want to get rid of now. <laughs> ah, there's a decent hammer. Outside of the two-hander. Oh yeah, I wasn't paying attention. Duh. I was supposed to be paying attention to this. So I got a one point into this, but I don't think I got a point into that. So I think it is the one point chance where you have a chance of like getting a point into that one or the other one i think that's still a thing not like 
like you get a point to both. Because I, if I remember correctly, there's a chance to where you don't get a point at all. Uh, correct me if I am actually wrong in that. But I'm pretty sure it's set up that way. Okay, you don't need the keys. You do not need the keys. I repeat, you do not need the fucking keys, brother. Yeah, I am. Oh, yeah, I don't have reflect. I don't know why I, like, went out of that form just to see if I had reflect to put on. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Okay, so this doesn't give me a blueprint. It actually gives me, like, the whole thing. You have a chance of getting one of those. Still 10% damage. Ooh, that's actually not half bad. I actually like that coloring. Blessing does make it extremely easy, though, to do this. Because I was looking for the anniversary things. That's the thing that was making me interest, interested to look around here. You see, I find this more fine. Like, instead of, like, each... Like... Round five being just like right here, just unpassable. That shit was so fucking stupid and annoying. So that equals up to 10. Out of the nine points, so I have a chance of getting two points. God damn. Deep sea bag for fucking sure. God damn, brother. Holy shit. It was quite the uh, bag you got there. Uh, then you have these. I don't think they've. No, nah, they haven't changed anything on these. These are greater, not fucking premium. So I would never really grab these. But it's interesting that they know how to add their own stuff in. I'm just curious, like, if they plan on dazzling inside of a rework of their own for the classes. Which is not necessarily, like, needed or anything. I was just curious if they ever, like, you know, thought about it. Damn, dude, I got the fucking jammies. A little short shorts, bro. God damn. Not anything I need. Because <laughs> it makes you wonder if they could have also did their own, like, dungeon gear, too. To where it has its own effects, but you have to get it through the little, uh, through the little rewards you get. That's also something else they could have did. Just make their whole on complete set that you guys can just, you know, actually find it worth like keep going into a dungeon for.
Because with the way they have that set up, that's actually not a bad idea. Like, if it hits greens, then it's like, okay, it doesn't have the extra stats. If it hits, if it hits blues, then it doesn't have the set stats. But if it hits orange out of that, out of that bag, you know, it has that set stat. And you have to get all the rest of the gears in orange. That gives that incentive of rerunning a dungeon for greater rewards. Uh, we'll get rid of this, get rid of that, get rid of that dance. Did I sell my gloves? Okay, now my gloves are up here. That can go, this can go, that can go. Uh, that old hammer can go. Growing. Bitch, did you say that's a growing weapon? That weapon does not grow. What are you talking about? Did I click something I sh something way different? That just confused me, but it, it's it's getting out leveled by other hammers anyway, so no real reason to carry on with it. Oh wow, nice dumplings, fuck yeah. So I guess I opened the bank and started throwing a whole bunch of shit inside of that because we have way too much. Throw this in there. Boop, 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 boop. Welcome back to those when we need them. This shit can go, because that is terrible compared to the four. Get rid of a lot of shit we aren't going to use at the moment. God, there's so much gear I uh, like actually go through and take a look at. Not up in gear right now, so that can go in there. Uh, this can go in there until I am ready to grab another mount. Wait, fuck it. Pretty sure that's not a quest we need. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not a quest we need. I feel like we grabbed a little bit of extra shit. I could be wrong. And I could have screwed up a quest that I have to go back and find. Where are your slacks? Throw those in there. I guess I could use that. But it's kind of like... Hmm. Yeah, just five little extra stats.
Oh yeah, the hammer. Oh, you failure. Make my hammer now. Do your job. Back to work. Uh, need to go to a mailbox. Before I start going to grab skills and stuff like that. Oh yeah, that's just that sprite message. But uh, you didn't do a good job. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah. Stupid. Anywho. We got about that, so we have this done, which will give me a little bit of rewards. The next one is 66. Why the fuck is that green? I will have no idea. Then I gotta go fight those two, which are just rares, it's out of the area, and I'm pretty sure they respawn fast. So, that's also another thing I can do. Then you have this mount, which is another timed mount. I'll throw that in there. Don't care about the level twos, they can fuck right off. I'm gonna have to keep this. We'll throw this in here. And we'll use the XP on the next video. Because I'm going to end off right there. So we finished quite a bit of quests. I say nothing too fancy so far. We're almost close to the next uh, slot for talents. Nah, th that's not it. It was, uh, heavy. Yeah, heavy. But heavy is fucking terrible for druids because it only gives shield, which screws us over because we have to use this. <laughs> we basically, we are forced to use this as a druid. Which is, it's not completely terrible, but it's something we, it's not useful for us if we're going wolf form. Because it's just like, who's going to run away from us? It's mostly a PvP hammer, at best. And this can't be used by us. So, yeah. We, we get hold because of paladins. Paladins mostly use hammers. Unforge. But yeah, we're going to end it off there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys on the next one. It has been fun. Until then, peace out.